Chuck, how do you like to start your morning? Well, I'll tell you one thing, it ain't my type of dog shit. That's what I did. He's so poopy. <laughs> I'm you're... focused on digging. I'm not focused on where I'm stepping. You know why you're constant entertainment? Because you're constantly chucking up. Well, I'm always getting into something. I wrote my dad. Somebody asked my dad one time, how come you're holding that piece of dog shit in your hand? He said, well, I didn't want to step in it. More movie Three making with the Danimal. It could be a long box going under, you know. Got rutabagos. Rutabagos. Dan from Oswego. We got beehives. It's hard to be careful because it could be a pipe. Could be a what? A pipe. But I don't think so. The pipe is well, here. Close up. We're at that end. No, we got. What some is metal. that? It's just a piece of flat metal. Okay. It could be a sign. Yeah, sign of things to come? Yeah. yeah, look, that's that's a sign. It has letters on it. Literally a sign. Hey, did you ever that garage? You didn't dig those, so somebody right, else let's came. See what it is. Oh. Ah. Micro metal photo pho photographer's plates? What? Flip it over. Whoa, whoa! Uh, what the whoa. What the hell is that? Ah, you probed it though, that's for sure. Oh yeah, somebody probed oh, it twice. Oh, killer probe. What age is that? <sighs> it's old. That's At scary. least mid 20th century. It's a, it's a stamp for like printing a newspaper or something. Oh, yeah, yeah that's what, yeah. <laughs> that looks like mid 20th century, like 50. Cantaloupes, it says cantaloupes right here. Yeah. 40s, 50s. Oh, you maybe? screwed up. This is a print. This is a plate. It's a freaking plate. It's an advertisement for a newspaper. Sweet. Oh, that geez. is, that's a cantaloupe Dan right there. <laughs> threw it over the privy, unfortunately. That's what oh, happens wow. when you use a probe. It sure as heck but is. But without the probe, you wouldn't find the place to dig, so. That's a cantaloupe Dan. Danalope. Produce. Well, it's missing. Let's see. No, it's all hold there. Oh, I don't know. I'll wash it off right now. What's this? Sugar. Pork and beans, 10 cents. I guess based on the typeface, it's probably 1950s. Maybe early 60s. Yeah, that typeface is... This is really messing with my dyslexia here. Yeah, it's advertising produce. Makes sense, there's a lot of orchards around here and a lot of fresh fruit everywhere. Sweet. The other side was the other side just kind of generic, but... Let's see here. Paint's kind of delicate. Micro metal. Cool. Having uh, problems? Do we have a? Uh... Here. I've got root cutters in my in my Here. truck. Danny, dig a lot Okay. <laughs> Better hope they didn't grow through any of the bot. What did he get? Yeah. Dan, hold it up. Hold up. This is your like your bottle. This is your flagship type of bottle. Yeah, it's a slick. Slick crown. Slick crown. Jeez. Dude, he's fired from the hole. Get wow. out of the hole, you. Wow. W and R. <laughs> or w, w and P. And P. Huh. White punks on dope. Wondering if I'm going to find Pontal bottles in this pit, but not too much. <laughs> That's what that stands for. <laughs> Click crown, this bottle out of the hole. Getting exciting. Ish. Soil engineering. Better holes by Dan. Stink. I'm the pile manager.
All right, down eight feet. Got some nice bricks to show for it. Some broken glass, crown soda. Well, good. So we were digging this hole, we're down 10 feet, and this lady comes out of the house and she's like, oh, that's probably the purview for the house. And we're like, of course it is, lady. And then she's like, the house was built in 1906. There was an older house on this property, of course, but we were like, oh God, this, this town is stupid enough so that they didn't even have plumbing in 1906. And this could be just the 1906 hole for that stupid house. And of course, it is. Dan, what did you do? What's it like, Bernie? What's it like to be sick when you're trying to dig a hole? Terrible. Well, if you're in gas, somehow you suck it up and you want some. I suck it up. I want some. Got food poisoning from eating an apple that got shit on by a chicken yesterday, so... Uh, just trying to deal with it. It's tough, man. <laughs> Ah. Yeah, whoa. Whoa. Uh, where's the beef? <laughs> oh god, that'll make me throw up. Winco Foods, only the highest quality, Chuck. It's good stuff. You've got to save money where you can. I used to buy 12 pack at uh, Safeway of their uh, fresh or whatever the hell it is. And last time, then I went back there, now it's an eight pack. It's the same price they were charging for the 12 pack. So I went to Winco, they got the same price uh, on their 12 pack as uh, Safeway has for the eight Whoa, pack. Whoa, so Winco. That's Winco. With the working win man in mind. It's a Winco, Winco situation. So yeah, uh, Digger Chuck recommends Winco. This video not sponsored by Winco Foods. No. Of course, of course there'd be wasps and human shit also. But Dale Earnhardt says, keep digging through the bricks. Even as you're about to shit yourself. What's the number one remedy for shitting your pants, Chuck? Um, or yeah, it is a shitty kind of day, so we're talking about shitty things right now. Things that anger us. For me, it's broken images of Dale Earnhardt. Oh, you know, I was thinking about Dale Earnhardt. He's like the, the Virgin of Guadalupe for rednecks. And, you know, see the Mexicans are driving around, they got the Virgin of Guadalupe on the back window. But every redneck you see with a big stupid truck with the big wheels, you know, the guys with the two inch dicks, they got their Dale, Dale Earnhardt stickers on there. And... Got a pretty old lair going towards what I feel is an outhouse. That direction, this bot came out of it. A New York City, but it's old. It's a very old style of embossing and the glass. It's probably late 1860s. So that bodes well for our, uh, our outhouse about four feet that way. Um, so hopefully that's the same age, you know, and hopefully I don't shit my pants. <laughs> I found this really like, Intriguing piece of ravioli on the sidewalk. It almost looks like insulation coming out of it. Chuck, what do we got here? I don't know, I guess we're gonna find out. We got a sink out. Can't believe we didn't notice this before. Look at that sink out. Look at this left. So there was that first trash layer we tested into. This is a sparse hole, it just doesn't feel like there's much in it. Just coal ash, which makes sense that this was a, this was a business, like an industrial, it was like a feed store going back to the 1850s. This part's been flipped by the uh, people operating the machinery. Pot hunting, looking for bot. That's no good. But we have a spot here protected from the flipping, at least for now. Nice big sink out. We're gonna check it out. Look at that crack, just cracking down into it. Oh yeah, that's a pretty. 
Just air down there. A void from the organic matter below sinking for a hundred years. Got the initial sand layer underneath the concrete core. This be from the 50s. Got the never ready battery, or maybe 60s. Arnie's going in. It's a big hole. It is a big hole. I know I pretty much got the width of it, but not the entire no, man, length. It's almost like you were such a ball there. Yeah. But there's a pipe there. I can't really get any further. Oh, it is? Oh. Probably remove it then. That's where it starts, huh? Huh. That might be bottom there. Huh. Maybe. It felt like a foot and it hit the hard sand. Yeah. I mean, I've been down there. It's that hard pan sand. Hard pan sand. Dude, it's the underground version of us. Pack rats. They like to take colorful things and make a nest out of them. Got some initial layer here. Ooh, the first sign of first blood. Crock beer. The old crack. Good sign. Window glass. What the hell was this, Arnie? <laughs> it gets me better for the next hole. Yeah, seriously. So this is like a, uh, you think it was a trench that a went trench? along? It went from, it did try to go through a hole. Yeah, because yeah, there was lots of pieces mixed in to the yeah, dirt. It, it's broken, I've seen it before. So they trenched this in order to put this wall in, maybe about 1910 or so. Yeah. And they Jeez. dug out the pit, broke everything. And then put some of the broken pieces with the dirt back, including yeah, that crock yeah, beer. Correct, correct. Oh, what a shame. But that's part of digging. Some of the guys from uh, 1900, they were probably born 1860 or whatever, 50. Or some guys, they built this. They probably drank out of those bottles. They probably did. <laughs> so they didn't want to collect them. Nope. In 1910, nobody cared about garbage cared. that was only 50 years old. Yeah, nobody cared. Yeah. Okay, going back to the original hole that we probed that was sparse. It's just all this shit. Something about this new plastic shit just never, never goes away. It always nags you. God, chunk just bounces back and such garbage. Something about new trash. It's just very in the way all the time. Interesting phenomenon. Uh, uh. It's like bounces and, and like pulls and stretches like Mr. Fantastic. It's like, ugh, it's never, ugh, you can never just get it all out of there. Ugh, oh, it's disgusting. Just, just trash with hypodermic needles and human feces and plastic and ugh, old masks, condoms and crack pipes. Part of stockings from some hooker oh this is just so nasty but below this shite is undisturbed ground from the 1800s oh just nasty you could smell the ammonia smell of old urine it's very strong it's just oh imagine the hepatitis here <laughs> whatever else oh yeah there's the money shot oh there we go yeah, there's the good stuff right there. Watch out. Whoa, spear! Gone from the AIDS epidemic to uh, the 1918 Spanish flu. It's about Spanish flu age right there. Illinois Pacific Glass Company. Yeah, so just in the space of a foot, back a hundred years. 
Whew. Ah, my uh, lungs are clogged with dust, so that's my voice sounds a little weird. Okay, down to a sand layer. We might be in the 1800s now at this point. Very hard to tell though, because it's very clean down there. It's like a commercial hole, a small ash layer at the bottom below some flood sand. Oh boy. Oh, there's the glass. Window glass. Oh, I love seeing that. Not. No words can describe the satisfaction of filling that hole in. And now I can go have my food poisoning in peace. Okay, where's the toilet? Chuck, uh, what are you doing after this? Um, I'm going to the Burger King parking lot. I'm going to enjoy an ice cold beer. And I think that'll get me on home. And uh, sounds good to me. <laughs> it's a portal potty. Fecal matter down there. Fecal matters. Ooh. <laughs> <It's a portal> -potty. <laughs> ah, I love the smell of homeless porto potty fire in the morning. Reminds me of bottles. I know we can dig one of them. Dan in the jungle. So what's the, what's the history here, Dan? Well, thirty years ago. We came in here when there was still a house standing, standing right over here. And we, um, we found a hole over here. Then I probed three more holes back there. But then we were, the residents asked us to leave, so we weren't able to dig it. Now it's vacant. We're here. A bit of work to do because the fence has collapsed because these trees have pushed the fence over. So we've got our work cut out for us. First of all, we got to lift up this giant piece of metal here, a metal plate. All right. Oh. That ain't good for your allergies. Punk. Uh. Hey, Dan. You know, yeah. about digging, it's all about having the right tools. And you're the right tool. Oh, I am. I'm a master tool. <laughs> tools are barbed wire stuck in the chainsaw. We thought it would be a slam dunk and look at this shit whoa we got a little bit of work crap man you're like you said we got a rake carving into the black forest here. oh yeah this hasn't seen daylight in uh -uh. 40 years Well, look at that. We created a nice cubby hole in there. Some homeless guy is going to go, Wow, I found an apartment. All right, Danimal. So according to your memory of what you heard, Puffer finding in this hole before he was unable to dig any further, what was it? You mean the broken cloths and sodas? Yeah. Tons of them. Clossons with Clossons. the anchors. Anchor sodas. Ugh. So we're going to see if this, if this story is true after 40 years. Oh, I saw them. Believe me, there was like tons of them just busted. They threw them in deliberately, broke them. Wow. Wait a minute, this is a blue closet. <laughs> oh my God, the stories were true. What is it, Dan? True, it's a blue closet. Oh, it wasn't on drugs. Anger wow. soda. Throw it over. <gasps> it's the rare Not shape. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I thought Puffer was on a lot of drugs back then, that he just hallucinated this whole thing. <laughs> There's yeah, a blue anchor class in top. Wow, the blue variant is okay. even nicer. <laughs> Did you just throw this over, Dan? Let's see what time it is. I know what year it is on this on this piece of hardware. It's a Timex. Yeah, 1985. God, new trash 
Hey, Puffer, I know you're not going to remember, but did you throw a bunch of new trash back in this hole? I don't remember. <laughs> so you didn't throw this back in there, big old crack tub? Uh, yeah, but maybe when you filled it quickly, you would have gotten, you would have thrown some trash in there. We were only on one hole. The only hole we were on was wherever the sodas are coming out. And I thought it was in the middle of the lot. Let's hope it wasn't here. Wait. I don't know when you were here, but when I was here, there was a house. No, no house. There was a house. <laughs> This is what happens when you do too many drugs, everybody. Absolutely positive there was a house here. Hey Dan, what do you got over there? Yeah, when you break into that layer down there, it's definitely undug. Whoa! Clean, 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 clunk. Dan's, <laughs> Dan's got an undug hole. Mine is definitely dug so far. <laughs> Whoa, it's undug. Whoa. Is that an ash layer? Yep, after uh, just a small amount of work to verify, 10 feet of digging, this hole's dug. Well, shit. See it right there? Oh, yeah. I do see it. Uh -huh. That's in hard dirt, too. Bot bottom. Well, if it's whole, then we know this hole ain't been touched. Yeah, this hasn't been dug yet. They wouldn't have thrown that back. Yeah, oh, that's just in there. Is it? Is it cast um, Florida water? Huh? Yeah. Ancient. So, Ned, if you want to have fun? I can fill your hole. Or I can pull buckets. Huh? Oh, I think I see a giant shooter marble rolled down the pile. Whoa. You walked right over that, Dan. What's that? Giant shooter marble. Huh. Is it in good shape? Yeah, it is. Nice. They're in good shape. Yeah. Put that in your mouth. Mm. We got a square. <laughs> I knew. I knew. You knew. Andrew wanted to get into that hole. Yeah, mm -hmm. Captain Layer. The Layer Man, is what they call him. No, oh, like Dan, Dan made me get in. <laughs> Here comes a square. Here comes a square. Do, 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 do. SpongeBob. Here comes a square. And I say, it's. Hopefully not a Hostetters. <laughs> That's what that is. That's one of those unembossed TM bitters. No. I think so. Those are old. <laughs> those are like, That's a TM? Yeah, it could, I get, actually, I think there might be an 80s variant. Or... Unembossed or it says TM? No, unembossed. How do you know it's an unembossed one? Well, yeah, I don't, that I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but more than likely it is. True. Geez, we can't see through your hat. I know. That's why I wanted you to stay in take there. Take your hat off. Here, try my hat. It's smaller. Okay. Yours is a sombrero. Yeah, let me see the extraction. Ooh, without the... nice cock top on it. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, oh my God. Ooh. God. Oh. God. Oh. God. Uh, no TM. Ah. Uh. Is it one of those? Yeah, it's old though. It's good age. That's, this is wow. Those are usually solid seven. That's ancient. Jeez, stupid. I think this hole's been dug. How's my hair, Dan? <laughs> <laughs> Looks good. Let's see it. Let's break. That's good. It's a good age. <sighs> Look at that. You know what? Yeah. Oh. The lusting eyes. It's good age. The covetous it's, look. Yeah. It's got a little drip there on the top. Oh, let's we'll see. A glide top a with a drip. Drippy, drippy on yeah, the lip. The 70s hole, the wine down here with 70s. That is not Wonka Schwanka Dunka. Oh, it has some Wawa in it. Let's some see. Wawa, wow, wow, wow. Oh my God. That's a All nice right, Western. Like that? You go, baby. You go, girl. We got ourselves a hole that hasn't been dug. And it's got Western squares in it. <laughs> so was this a cordial? Uh, I could have been anything. Those are all generics, you know. 
Probably bitters or cordial. Oil burning lamp chimneys. Beer glass. Canning jar. The gem. That's a Western blown Eastern Company jar. It's a base to it. Patented 1867. November 26. Ironstone China. 70s, 1870s. A bone, pork bone, a bowl. Look at the top of this wine. Wow. Super crude wine bottle. There's a button. Old uh, vase. Oh. Shaving mug without coins in it. Look at this beautiful Western cordial bottle with this amazing applied top. That would have been just an incredible color. Big old boner, beef bone. You can see the cut from the butcher. Pouring pitcher, cream. Is that, yeah. Oh God, there's the base to the Western we got lots wine. Of there, don't we? Here's the top to a pickle. This is a Western pickle bottle. There's the indicative base right here with a star on it, 1880s pickle. Another small size plate. Imperial Ironstone China. Oh yeah, big old fruit bowl or something, decorative glass. Just very fun. CD, CD in there. Whoa, wait, wait, you got head. Hi. Hi. One day, during the creepy mid-19th century romantic period, Miss Seba Smith, a poet from New England, read a story in the local newspaper about a girl named Charlotte, whose carriage got caught in a snowstorm on the way to a ball one night. When the sleigh arrived to the party, Charlotte had frozen to death because she didn't want to put wrinkles in her elegant dress by wearing a blanket that her mom suggested she put on for warmth. Smith decided to write a poem called A Corpse Going to a Ball, which quickly became a hit and was even turned into a song. When hard white porcelain children's dolls began arriving from Germany to be sold in the United States in about 1850, they were an instant hit and people began buying up these penny dolls for their children to play with in their baths and even bake into their birthday cakes. While it wasn't documented until the middle 20th century that people made the connection to the frozen girl in the song by calling these dolls frozen charlottes, it's still fun to imagine that in the 1800s, some morbid little Victorian children could have played with these dolls as if they were miniature versions of a frozen dead girl. We have a, uh, a theory about um, the uh, bunghole in so, the frozen Charlotte. There's a hole right here. My theory is that it was for presentation purposes. Uh, in the vintage Barbie dolls, the number one Barbie dolls made in 1959, they used to have holes like this in the feet and then little tiny skewers that you could stick their feet into that then you could display them on the shelf. I think this probably served a similar purpose where you could put, honestly, just a stick up the butt and then have a stand right here and then dress the doll and then you could put it on your shelf just like that. So these were used as bath toys in Germany and I always thought the novelty is they'd fill with water and then they'd take a whiz. You don't think that's a children's novelty and it's an actual whiz hole? You think it's for dressing the doll and standing the doll up? Absolutely. That's 100% what it is. <laughs> it's not. Let the record show, <laughs> Bottle Ned isn't right all the time. <laughs> Ironically, all the frozen Charlotte dolls, their doll clothes have disintegrated by being in the ground and they are all naked now, freezing cold in the ground forever. You scare me and, this, and so does that. But I'm going to make her a dress and then she won't be cold anymore. And a nice blanket. 
Look at that. She's finally wearing the blanket that she should have been wearing in the carriage. And that's the lesson that we learn. Oh, wait, focus. Focus, sorry. Sorry, girlfriend. There you go. I'm talking to her, of course. I know. Yeah. <laughs> Rusty relics. Part of a bullet, methinks. This weird rusty conglomerate. Whoa, is that a ball? That looks like a, a ball. Like an early, uh, for a, from an early gun. Or there's something, there's another one. That's interesting. I don't think that's a marble. They're heavy. Those are metal. Wow, looks like a musket ball. They're lead. I'll keep this over here. It looks like it was inside a can. That's cool. Oh, it's beautiful. <sighs> beautiful broken canning jar with a streak of olive through it. Western blown gem jar. Yeah. Damn. Early plate. Whoa. Yeah. We like 60. What do you got down there? Really early looking Jane's. Oh, Jane's expectorant. Ugh. Whoa, expect good things. Oh, that's a um that's a different one. Alternative. Wow. Yeah. We're getting earlier. Plane's coming in, Dan. Beautiful. That top. Yeah, that is that's Dude, a nice top. I'm feeling alternative. Uh-huh. That is a beautiful 60s bot, even if it's eastern. Uh-huh. Whoa, there's a sixth. Oh, crap. Maybe a fifth, actually. That's a fifth. Whoa. Jay Moore. Good lord, that's nice color. Jeez. More wine. This black glass came out. Insane mineral water, like throwback, pondled something. Not a Leon Perrins, it just says table sauce. Worcestershire. Let's see, what's the product here? Halfords. Never heard of that in my whole life. Halfords table sauce. Of course, it's the one Leon Perrins that's not bro that's broken, but it's not a Leon Perrins. Flavoring extract. Shot flash. What is it, Dan? Wow. A beer mug. It's a children's beer mug. A miniature. <laughs> hey, Dan, can you pass me the water? Sure. Right? Yeah. Rescued from the deep. A Dr. Cummings Vegetine. With the Vegetine still in it. Is it what? Whoa, whoa, wait. Oh, whoa. Whoa, broken classin. Another one. Oh. Shoot. Show. Black. Black glass, ale, and a nice green color. The Dr. Cummings Vegetine. Oh, 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 there it is. Oh, that smells. Hey, Dan, you want to Dan? Uh, nice pickup. Let's see. Yeah, I'll do it. Got it. Oh, where the oh. Hell is it? oh, oh, God. That's beautiful. Oh. I think that's got some, some green in it. And there was a broken pickle. Oh, this sucks, dude. <laughs> this is awesome, but it kind of sucks. This is outrageous. Oh, a cathedral. Jesus! 
Oh, this is awesome, but it sucks. People are Honk. breaking everything. I know. Dick, what? Are you still recording? I should watch my tongue. No, I can censor you. Mm -hmm. Oh, the whittle. Oh, top example. Oh, no. oh they're beautiful. Oh, shit. Oh. Wish more of those would make our day. <sighs> Rather have three. Oh, that's a limey green one with just insane yeah, whittle. Black. Okay. All right. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and of course, that's whole. <laughs> Naturally. Anyway, back to this. Oh, that's a whittled one. That's a whittled Danny, huh? That's a hell of a bot right there. That's what we're looking for. That's what you want. Yeah, save that. I want a Western glass. Just absolutely beautiful. Oh, crap. So, got a root tragedy here. Look at this. That's not pretty. This tree sucks, man. The bot killing tree. The bot slayer. jars. Oh, yeah. Look at that. A victory jar broken. Ay, ay, ay. All right. Damn. Dishes are done. So honking close. Oh. oh, it hurts. Our reward for today's toils. Oh, man. That's just a supreme example. That's an amazing piece of Western glass. We got the curved R, characteristic of Western glass blowing. Jolly Rancher green. It's just clean glass, beautiful whittle, swirls in the glass. Just uh, everything, everything you look for if you're a real connoisseur of the bot. So. We were in Hawaii on a vacation about 30 years ago with a lot of good friends. There were like about six couples. We decided we were in Waikiki and we went to this takeout place. It was a Chinese takeout place and everyone behind the counter you know, was Chinese. The menu was big and bold. And I go, they have show you chicken. So when it came my turn to come to the counter and order, I go, I'll have one show you chicken. Oh, sorry. No show you chicken. And I said, What? Who's <laughs> there? And everybody in there started laughing. No show you chicken. <laughs> Do it again, just one more time. No show you chicken. Oh, it's the this is like the beginning of an action movie. Ladder, check. Shovels, check. Flashlight, check. Short shovel, broom, pick. Bucket sledge, sister sledge. Marine Corps, Arnie. Arnie, check. Wait, where is Arnie? There he is, Arnie Rock. The last Marine. <laughs> now we have everything. Except the sunglasses. Extra waters. Look like a hole. Much. The world's biggest hole. That's one big hole, man. And this is one big shithole. He. He. Turn a pit into a bigger pit. Looks like someone tried to dig right here, fill a little pothole into something else right next to this. Oftentimes holes are next to each other, so that makes sense. Then they won the lottery and got out of here. Fortunately, we have a, a ton of garbage to throw back in this hole. It's called fill volume right here. All kinds of Stereo parts, cars, hot white girls, Elvira. Commence. First we have to weed the hole. 
Yeah, chunky. In there the bottom? Yeah. See, burrow down to it like a drill. Yeah, yeah. And see if it's see like, if it's good. It's, now we'll bury it. Yeah. Okay. We'll bury it good. These old ones. You know, you know the new ones are kind of more curved. Yeah. And you get a so that's like a hundred year old pick that you've salvaged from somewhere? Yep. Sweet. You get it at a garage sale or you like dig it up? Sometimes I look for my flea markets or at garage. Nice. People have wagon wheels. Oh, there's a whole pick. Oh, yeah. Two bucks. Why are the old picks better? The steel is better. American made. See how they're square? See? This lasts longer, this basically. A, it's already, we've been wearing it out, but. Yeah. It takes a lot of years. Yeah? Nice. They didn't do it, yeah. So believe it or not, this is only half this hole. It's a big Bahama Mama. It might be a commercial privy. But we're going to see what the bottom layer is, how old it is, before we knock out the rest of this. You can see where they replaced the asphalt in the parking lot with the new asphalt. Here's the old stuff. As the hole kept sinking, it's this round hole, so it might be really deep. Really deep. I like it really deep. Arnie, where do you get your muscles? Here, baby. Here. <laughs> yeah. Arnie Rock, the Native American digger whose ancestors invented the atlatl and the pick. Oh, I think that's the one I pulled out of my truck. Was it no good? Is it? Yeah. Needs water. Okay, we got our first artifactual shoe. Horse a shoe. We need to set the life. Hey Arnie, this is good news for you. Our friend brought us a, uh, a present. It's a, a antifreeze jug full of piss. <laughs> Some of it spilled out. And there's the toilet paper. Hey, 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 where's your gym at, Arnie? Right here, man. Let's see it. Let's see the gun. This is my gym. <laughs> Some people lift weights. Other people lift shovelfuls. Man, yeah, man, look what we What's that reason? A hammer? Or... Come on. What weights do you lift? I, uh, what is it? <laughs> <laughs> Mine pretty much women. <laughs> So like, you like bigger women or just like? Whatever works. <laughs> Making our way down with our new friends. We got some pieces, some look not too old. And other ones look like, this. I think this was a piece of a Lydia Pinkham's vegetable compound. So there's some turn of the century looking stuff down there. Okay. Turn of the century is good enough for us. We're not prude diggers. Weird pewter looking. Whoa. It's a lid. It's a really cool. It's a lid with a really cool design, like a pewter lid or something. Is it? Those uh, cosmetic stuff is kind of cool. Huh? Yeah. Well, oh, that is cool. That's old, man. Yeah. Our manly holes. Oh yes, I tell you, these are manly holes. Here's an axe head for your pick. Down here, seven feet. Bad news, found a ACL milk. Uh, worse news, we forgot a probe. We're the only diggers in the world that showed up to a dig with no probe. So I have no idea how much deeper this is. Hi. Ugh. Saw something down here. Let's see what. What is that? Is that a coin? Oh. Oh, yeah. That is a 
20th century electrical bullshit right there. You don't want to see something like that in a hole. It shows you you're digging in the at least the 20s or 30s. Ooh, nasty. Well, oh shit. That's yucca. Very yucca. I got the Milk of Magnesia Blues. And it's Oyo. Love digging that deep for 30 shit. Whoa! Uh, hopefully Arnie Rock will have some better luck down there. Why was this broken in the hole? What a tease. The turn throwback. The Pinkums. Oh. The vegetable compound. Different ones you're good and you use. Like top Go down into the darkness. <laughs> the black holes got gotcha. you. It got me. Don't let it get you. Arnie action shot. Yeah. Turn plate. Turn plate with the wavy ridges. Whack, whack, whack. Quack, quack. It's always a teaser piece up high, and then there's this kind of shit down below. Ay caramba, Art Deco. During the Great Depression, many families lost all their savings as numerous financial institutions collapsed and could no longer afford to pay for basic amenities, including running water. So, understandably, in early 1930s America, the outdoor privy experienced a brief reemergence in popularity. Hell yeah. This hole just became a lot more badass. <laughs> Oh really? He let you borrow his bike? He let you borrow his bike? Yeah, I'm gonna... Okay, update. Arnie's testing the bottom of this hole, doing a little bucket hole down there, see how much we got to go since we forgot our probes. God, I wish we just need to know where the bottom of this hole is. Crap. There's gotta be something in here we can use as a probe. Do I want to reach my hand in there? That's the question. Yeah. What is it, man? That cobalt blue in the test hole. Please don't be a bromo with a screw top. Is that the blue one? Yeah. Definitely blue. Oh, God. No. It's coming up. Oh, God. No. Oh. Ah! Ah! Oh fuck! Ah, ah! Get me out of here! Oh, ah! Our hole, please. Dan, what'd you do? I accidentally broke a water line. <laughs> oh, Dan! Because we need more things in our way. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna go get a uh, a cap for this thing. Yep. All right, there you go, big boy. Yep. Yeah. Have fun with that. And hurry up so we can dig. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jeez. Hurry that big butt. Yeah. God damn. Oh, God. Who turned Long. the water on? Oh, no. Get it out of here. Oh, oh God. Don't flood our hole, please. Oh. Some of the water's come on again. It's going to flood the shit out of Long. our hole. You ever try to dig through water? Yeah. Not fun. Oh, please. Turn off. Oh. Oh, was this connected to a toilet? Somebody just flush? Holy crap. Hope not. Shit. I'm gonna get this water out of here somewhere. Somehow. Oh, oh, shovel. Oh, oh. oh god damn. Please. Oh god, right north. Oh. 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 Oh.
hate water. All right, bottle update. Well, we had to shut off water to the entire house in order to fix this problem. And uh, this lady's elderly parents are freaking out. <sighs> the hole's right around here. Dad, what an idiot. He just stepped on the spigot and it broke. You fool, you fool. Dan the man's here, saving the day. So one revolution with the plumber's tape? Well, a revolution and a half. Okay. This stuff is real fragile. You gotta kinda join the revolution. Mm hmm Huh? And then next, this has to be you screw that in there, okay? Screw you. Screw it in there. There you go. Get it nice and tight, but don't break, don't force it so you you you, you break the pipe. Yeah. You have to do that. Then we'd be screwed. This has to be hand tightened, that's all. Should I do one more rotation? It's, it's pretty one tight. Second. Just one second. Okay. Here, I'll show you. Like this Bam, one that's as far as it goes right there. Bam. Well, no, it's got to be pointed up. Oh, so it's going to be a little loose then. That's okay. That's okay. Okay. Oh, shit. Tightened it. Oh, you can't get it unloose. What'd you do? I just tightened it. Yeah, you knew this had to be tightened up. Okay. Oh, good. Now can we dig? Finally. No, we gotta go turn the water back on. <laughs> I need your strength for that too. <laughs> Moment of truth, Dan. Yeah. I don't hear a gushing noise. That's good. Does the plumbing repair work? I don't know. How how good do you lay pipe? Shh. Listen for a flushing sound. Oh no. Oh, oh no. Dan. Yep, 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 yep. Why? Oh, um, fucking water. I hate water. Yep. Okay, so we got to get it tighter. So go ahead. Tighter? And yes, you can't leave it like this, Ned. So, as the story goes, the last residence we were in, we went in the back and started probing. It was full of weeds and all kinds of obstacles. And lo and behold, I broke a PVC faucet. Had to go to Lowe's. Get replacement parts. Ned and I put it back together again. And it just happened to be right next to a privy. So Ned, in the meantime, while I was gone, he started digging. When I came back, that that forlorn face, that, that dis disgusted looking face said, it's been dug. So we did the repair. We left there only to come out front and find that our trunk monkey auto protection system had failed and somebody had Can broken it. You tell the story the a little faster, old man Winter. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, long story short, we found another hole and we marked it off. Yeah. Get some, get some. That is what a non ABD looks like. Nice, yep. hard, clean yep. soil. Nice and clean. Not mixed around. Some chunks right on the top. Chunky. That's what you want. What'd you just dig up, Dan? Looks like a bridle for a horse. Horse bridle? Whoa. I'll fact check that. Yeah, you might need to. It won't fit my mouth. There's no one ever dug here. Yeah. I mean, just accidentally as a reservoir. A piece of ironstone plate was done. Oh, there's the, there's that snappiness. It's it's lantern glass. And not window glass. I found What's this? What's the age of that mag? Check the age. Oh my god, you know what that is? That's a McEwen soda, dude. That is an old soda water bottle from San Francisco. You can still you can see the last part of Cisco. But that's late 1860s, early 1870s McEwen soda water bottle. Very early. Oh, I've been so good. Come on, baby. is an old layer oh but that's weird it has kind of the newer uh lamp chimney top it's kind of strange more like an 1890 lamp chimney we'll see get out the way whoa you're hitting oh my god you're you're digging up broken that soda? no it's a classens pacific soda works yeah. same age late 60s yep whoa and there's another broken soda it's a green one 
all broken sodas. There's a broken green soda. Oh, there's a broken cobalt soda. What's going on here? Serious. It's a bunch of broken sodas from the 1870s, early 1870s. What in the hell are you doing down there? We have a really interesting feature here. So <laughs> we have like a pile of broken Western soda water bottles from the early 1870s, late 1860s. We have classics, we have empires, we have Woods Napa sodas. We have Blob Tops. Look at that. Look at that it, they're all broken. It's like they just broke them up for every purpose. Oh my God. Oh, funk. There's even a BJ McGee. Look at that. It's a, it's a San Francisco sure. BJ McGee. That's a hell of a, that's a, that's rare as shit. Oh my God. Oh, that's a good bottle. Oh, oh, oh this is frustrating. <laughs> God damn this stupid hobby. Oh man. BJ McGee, come on, dude. Oh. Why did you break these damn things? So far, we have a BJ McGee, San Francisco. That's an extremely rare 1860s soda water bottle. A McEwen, that's a Cobalt Woods Napa soda. Um, that's a Pacific Glass, Pacific Soda Works, Klassen and Company. This is an Empire Soda Works, right there. And that piece on the left is a, a green soda of some kind, oh my God. Unbelievable. God, why can this just be a pile of whole bottles? So what's the history of this trash deposit? They just, Jesus, oh, that sound. They just threw a pile. Look at those cock tops. Oh, damn. Oh, oh a broken pile in there. That's amazing. Look at that. They just smashed a bunch of sodas in a barrel in about 1871 and threw them all. Oh, look at this. Oh, 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 oh that's terrible. <laughs> oh, that's just. Yeah, just in a small exactly little section it. here. Just below it. Come on. Maybe they missed one. They just had a who's who of hey. the Western Blob sodas in yeah, here. Okay. They smashed and just threw, threw in the pieces. <sighs> Some asshole's getting off on this. He's breaking all this stuff on purpose. Unbelievable. I've seen it all now. That's just, what a prick. This guy, he's shooting bottles. That's what he's doing, he's shooting his bottles. tell you with total confidence whoever was here was an asshole a bottle breaking jerk this is just this is target practice man it's despicable sacrilege Tears. Yeah, all these wonderful flavors available for us. I know, I'm spoiled living out here. Oh, Empire Soda Works. Oh. Look at this sexy stove ash layer. Ooh. Look at that strata. Well, we actually didn't have much left. Sexy stove ash. Getting down, carved out walls, ash layer, big old pieces of plate. <laughs> oh, almost. I get a kick out of that one. Look at that. Could have had that Just old. look at it. Stone china. Now, if you were able to find the other piece to it. Yeah. That's early 1870s ironstone serving plate yeah, right there. Faces in the hole. Hi. 
zombie doll. Oh, oh, oh my word. darn it. I don't know what that is, but I like it. What the hell is that? It's a fruit jar, but... Jesus. Mm, damn you. Fuck. What is this? Oh, it's an 1858 mason. Really, really old one, though. 70s mason jar. Broken. That's a western blown uh, jar, right? Stick the glass over here. Our first whole bottle. I threw up in a pile. I threw it up in a pile. Oh no, it's not whole. Yikes. Oh, one of those isn't intact. This guy was really breaking everything. Isn't that right? Oh yeah. Oh, that's right. My ghost is inside of this doll now. <laughs> I just want to laugh at you because I broke all the bottles. Damn it. This little teapot. Oh, it's a teapot. From a doll set. That's really awesome. I hope so. It'd be nice if you guys found something cool. Ooh. Whoa, that's yeah. that's thorny. Oh, that's beautiful. Strawberries? See, or now there may be the rest of it right there. The shape of that other piece looks like it might fit. Oops. Wouldn't that be wonderful? That's so cool. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you could glue it back together and have, have a memory of this dig. Ironstone. Let's see what else we got back here. Can you get that part in front of you, Ned? That's a look at that handle Ned, on a piece to, of. That that's part? just a plate. That's a plate. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oil burning lamp back here. Let's see. Oh yeah, it is an oil burning lamp. <laughs> Usually it sticks. <laughs> Oh, it's inside yeah. and out. Oh, this is a, um... Look at the oil burning lamp. Oh, yeah. See that? Oh, yeah. Look at oh. that. That's a lamp they brought out to the privy and then cool. dropped it yeah. in huh? by accident. We'll find out pretty quick. Maybe a lid to a candy bowl or something? Or, or something? What's that? It's a lid to a bowl, glass bowl. Oh, look. It's actually a... Oh. Oh, Strange a beast. Is it a face on it? It's multiple faces. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow, that is funky. Almost an oriental looking face. Maybe not, though. Wow. Look how weird that is. I can't. Oh, there she goes. Oh. Is that Come on, baby. Come on, bottle me tender. What the f with this guy? The pickle might have just fallen out. Oh, here we go. It's intact. It's a miracle. It's a little miniature sized pickle bottle. No gothic uh, decoration, but cool western bottle. We'll take it. At least it shows there's something whole in here. Oh, what's that? I can see it through the phone. Oh my god. Oh, oh, Western Jake unembossed. Damn, I actually spotted this bot through the phone. <laughs> the phone o vision because I can't bend down that far. That's a Jamaica Ginger. These are 1880s household bottles. Oh, anything else back there? I'm actually looking through the screen of the phone because I can't bend down. Ah. 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 Oh. Oh. Got another butt I've just exposed. Sticking out of the wall. By a broken.
good wine time. Our wine extract is full. Looks like a, a citrate of magnesia or an ammonia bottle. Uh, yeah, just a little utility bottle. Old, late 1870s, early 1880s. Good, where there's one, there's more. That's the spirit, Dan. It's funny, these bottles are all about 10 years older than um, those broken soda bottles, way higher. Straddle layer up ten, higher. 10 years newer, you mean? Ten, yeah, 10 years newer, which shows you that you don't necessarily know. Just because something's old doesn't mean it's the age of the layer. I think I can just see a base way back there. Anyone else see it? Shot glass. Around it. There. And a shaving mug. Sort of. Oh, it looks like a Hostetter's. It's square. And I can see the McKee on the base. Dang, dude. Uh, why could that be a Renz's Bitters or something Western? Uh, yep. Unbelievable. Uh, yeah, whenever you see that stupid writing on the base. Okay, let's take it out. Hostetter's Stomach Bitters. Extraction. Oh, yeah. Yes. Oh. Don't you just wish that was green? Hostetters. Anything interesting about it? It's a green one. It's a green Hostetters? Yeah. Okay, it's green. Just kidding. <laughs> uh -huh. It's not green, just a stupid amber. No, it's not cathedral. Here's the thing. The stuff up on top was 70s and down below. What what age is that, Ned? This is about like an 18, maybe like a 1885 or 18, 18, 1885 to 90. It's an 1885 to 90, I'm sure. So that's weird. That layer down there is, is newer than the layer on top. Go figure. More insanity. Oh, fuck. Yeah, we got a tunnel underneath this damn slab, pulling out a million broken blob sodas from the 1860s and 70s. Okay, it's a five. Is this a six foot probe? Five. Okay, so it's about four and a half. But God the old damn. Hole. Yeah, it sure is the old hole. Oh my God. She'll let us dig it. Come on. Let's get it covered up and. We'll come back. Oh, no. I hate walking away from a... I can just see the beginning of the ash layer. Huh? Son of a bitch. Yeah, well, there's nothing we can do tonight except cover it up. Come on. God, that's a stanker. That's right. We can get it. We can come back. hate walking away from a hole. Next door neighbors heard that. <laughs> <laughs>